Hi there and welcome back. In this presentation series, we are going to be looking at the lymphatic and immune systems. Are we all loyal to learn the lymphatic system? Are we all immune from understanding the immune system? So, as always, this lymphatic and immune system is going to be intended for technical underwriters or field partners and the ultimate customers so feel free to join uh, before I dive deep into the lymphatic and immune system let me give you an overview in this presentation series and then we'll move forward and I have broken down different elements of the anatomy and physiology as it relates to the lymphatic and immune systems many people they think they know the immune system but when we say immune system, immune system and lymphatic system goes together and we'll get into those details, okay? So let's get started. So I am here in Chicago, Illinois. I live in uh, West Suburbs. So let's say from my home, I want to reach Chicago O'Hare International Airport. So what do I do? I take my car, I get out from the driveway, I hit the diesel lane to Chicory lane to Montgomery Road to Route 59 and then I take 88 interstate. And then eventually I reach the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Wherever you may be living, you take the small streets that hits the big roads, that big road hits the highway or the tollway and ultimately you reach the nearby international airport, right? God has created such a beautiful body that when we talk about any system, we have reviewed in the past hematology, urinary system, many things we have reviewed. When we look at any system, God has created such that just like the traffic system, just like the traffic system, God has created various systems in our body. And I know that some of our field partners or some of our customers may not have the medical background. So my intention is to not use the medical jargons more frequently unless I have to, to connect the dots, but to make it as simple as possible so that you all can understand. From head to toe, Blood circulates in our body and when we say blood, blood includes blood plasma, lymph, so many things are circulating in our body from head to toe. So that is known as circulatory system. In circulatory system what happens, take a look at this, so from top to bottom we have a circulatory system. So as the word suggests, system that circulates. Circulates what? All the liquid, all the blood, all the plasma, all the uh, vitamins, proteins, minerals, even the uninvited gas, maybe the bacteria or the fungi or the um, virus, you name it. Right? And God has created such a system that the circulatory system, circulatory system is the one that is a system in place just like the traffic system where everything circulates. So when we talk about the traffic system, we have a small street, big roads, highways, tollways, just like that God has created in our body the uh, tiniest blood capillaries, uh, lymph capillaries, to big arteries, aorta, arch, you name it. Right? And various fluid, various plasma that circulates throughout our body. Broadly speaking, that is labeled as circulatory system. Now, if we have to break down the circulatory system, for the sake of simplicity and understanding, it leads to 
cardiovascular system and lymphatic system. Okay, so in cardiovascular system, what happens that as the word suggests, the heart dominates and we have a um, heart that continuously pumps, the blood goes out everywhere and then comes back into the lungs and through lungs into the heart and the cycle goes on, right? Blood, when we say blood, blood includes blood plasma, not only the red blood cells but the white blood cells, uh, the platelets, the proteins, the minerals, you name it. So, in circulatory system, we have a cardio cardiovascular system and likewise there is a lymphatic system that is ultimately we are going to be looking into in this presentation series. It is believed that about 20 liters of the blood circulates throughout the body. Out of those 90% returns back, the remaining 10% or you can say maybe 2 liters or so doesn't come back. It leads to in between drains and that is picked up by a different system called lymphatic system and we will delve deep into that. Lymphatic system does different things and we will get into those details but broadly speaking lymphatic system does the, the fluid recovery that couldn't reach back to the cardiovascular system that is the number one function that lymphatic system does the number two function lymphatic system does is it does the absorption of fats it assists the digestive system okay so that's the second part or the major function of the lymphatic system and the third and important aspect of lymphatic system is it provides immunity to our body and that is where comes the immune system so the question normally comes that does one science fit all and the answer is no but believe it or not you can check it out with your doctor scientists, friends, surgeons, whomsoever you believe in, they will have to agree that there is one exception to this general rule in this connotation that we will get into once we are done with various aspects of all the lymphatic and the immune system. Okay? So I'll keep for now that as a surprise for you. So basically in this uh, video we are going to review the circulatory system that we did touch base a little bit. So it's a combination of lymphatic and cardiovascular system. Um, it covers the heart, blood vessels, blood, lymph, lymph nodes and the entire lymphatic system. It controls the whole transportation activity throughout our body and is responsible for the exchange and transportation of gas, transportation of absorbed food, hormones, enzymes, waste products, you name it, right? So I'm not going to repeat what we already covered. So in the cardiovascular system, we have the heart, arteries, vein and capillaries. In the cardiovascular system, that is part of the circulatory system. And in the circulatory system, Besides the cardiovascular system, what we have is called lymphatic system. And lymphatic system, they have like uh, blood capillaries we have in our body, just like that. We have a lymphatic capillaries in our body that leads to lymph vessels, that leads to uh, lymph nodes, that again leads to lymph vessels. And uh, there are about 600 lymph nodes in our body. They do the work just like a kidney does. They do the filtration. Just like take the analogy of the traffic system that if you are on a long commute, uh, you need to take the exit or you look out for the rest area, right? And you want to take a caffeine, you want to pee, get rid of uh, bad stuff, need some good stuff, things like that. Just like that, that is what happens in our body, the lymphatic system working with the immune system. 
we have about 600 lymph nodes throughout our body and we'll get into that uh, later. So that does the purification, that does lots of things that we will get into. So just some high level overview, circulatory system and lymphatic system. So here we are dealing with uh, the system that is comprised of cardiovascular as well as uh, the lymphatic system. It carries everything. Whereas in the lymphatic system, what we have is they are carrying essentially lymph. And what is lymph? The remaining 2-3 uh, liters or the 10% of the entire blood plasma, right? That doesn't go back and that the lymphatic capillaries take over. That's the lymph that we are talking here. So in uh, circulatory, we have uh, uh, veins and arteries, the cardiovascular system, they have veins and arteries in the lymphatic system. They don't have the blood and they don't have the veins and the arteries. They have their own unique system. As far as the transportation of fluid goes, uh, the circulatory system moves through the heart, arteries, capillaries, veins and lungs. As far as the lymphatic system goes, they just follow the lymphatic flow using their own lymphatic vessels. The transportation of fluid, uh, the circulatory would carry everything, the red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, you name it. And uh, the lymphatic or the immune system, they would cover essentially uh, the lymphocytes and some other uh, miscellaneous stuff that is basically to fight defend our body or to generate the immune response. The cardiovascular system transport the respiratory system whereas the lymphatic system cannot transport gases. Okay. And as far as the material goes, uh, it carries the food and the veg whereas the lymphatic system only carries the digestive fats. Okay. There are lots of differences out there, but what are the three critical functions, broadly speaking, we can say that lymphatic system does? A. Homeostasis, the recovery of the fluid, it strikes the balance of maintaining the fluid between the blood and the tissues. That's the first and foremost thing that lymph lymphatic system does. Secondly, it provides the immunity to our body. And last but not least, it facilitates the absorption of fats and fat soluble nutrients in the digestive system. There are various aspects difficult to digest, but think about the traffic system, the analogy that I gave you. As we move on with various presentation video, I will be capturing only one aspect at a time to make it easier for you to grasp and digest. I will see you soon. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye-bye.